Hi friends, welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. I am Sunil. In chemistry, we have completed 10 classes. This is the class 11. Friends, in the last class, I have wrongly spoken that SN as strontium, but SN as stannum, friends. SN is stannum. Or we can also call this as tin. Okay, please correct it. SN as stannum or tin. Okay. In this class, I am going to discuss non-metals, non-metals and their compounds. Okay. We have already completed metals and their compounds. So, I have started the topic non-metals and their compounds. Here, first of all, we know that in case of metals, they are tendency to donate electron. They are tendency to donate electron. But in case of these non-metals, these are tendency to accept electrons. Tendency to accept electron. Okay. Metals are tendency to donate electron. But in case of these non-metals, tendency to accept the electrons. Okay. And in case of modern periodic table, these non-metals are nearly 22 non-metals. 22 non-metals are placed. In case of modern periodic table. Examples of these non-metals are carbon, sulfur, nitrogen, phosphorus, oxygen, all are non-metals. In these 22 non-metals, 10 non-metals are solid state. Solid state. Remaining 12. In this 12, 11 are in gaseous state. 11 are in gaseous state. The remaining one is bromine. Bromine. It is liquid state. Liquid state. So, here the very very important bit, the non-metal which is in liquid state is nothing but bromine. The non-metal which is in liquid state is nothing but bromine. Okay. And I already told that in case of metals, in case of metals, because they have tendency to donate electron and they have free electrons, so they are good conductors of electricity, good conductors of electricity and also heat. But in case of these non-metals, poor conductors, poor conductors of electricity and heat, but except graphite, except graphite. Why? Because graphite is a good conductor of electricity. Okay. And in case of these metals, the boiling and mel the melting and boiling points are very high. But in case of these non-metals, they have low melting points and low boiling points than metals. But here the exception is except diamond. Except diamond. Because the diamond has high boiling point and high melting point. Why? Because here the carbon, each carbon is bond with four or four other carbons. Okay. So that's why these are strongly bonded. So the melting point and boiling point are very high for this diamond. But generally non-metals have low melting points and low boiling points. Okay. And the next one coming to the chemical properties. Chemical properties. In this, these non-metals are electronegative in nature. Electronegative in nature. In nature. When these non-metals combines with oxygen, when these non-metals reacts with oxygen, then they will give their oxides, their oxides. For example, if you take the sulfur, 
when it reacts with oxygen, it will gives SO2. That is sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide. That means when these non-metals reacts with oxygen, they will give their oxides. Their oxides. Okay. And here the acidic acids of non-metals are here. The acidic oxides of non-metals are example CO2, SO2, NO2. These are the acidic oxides of non-metals. In case of neutral oxides, neutral oxides, these are nothing but carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxide or N2O etc. These are examples of neutral oxides. Okay. All the students are asking for chemistry PDF. So I have updated PDF in InstaMojo link which is in my description box. You can click on that InstaMojo link and download the chemistry PDF. Okay. In these non-metals, the very very important one is carbon. Now I am going to discuss about this carbon. We know that the atomic number of this carbon is 6 and mass number is 12. Okay. Z equal to 6 and A equal to 12. And this carbon also exists in isotopic form. Isotopic forms. That is C6, S12, 13, 14. In this isotopic, in this isotopic, this C6 to 14 is radioactive isotope. Radioactive isotope. Very, very important. C614 is the radioactive isotope. And the next important one coming to the allotropes of carbon. Allotropes of carbon. These are nothing but the first one is diamond. Diamond. And second one, graphite. Graphite. And the third one, C60. C60. You can call this Buckminster Fullerene. Buckminster Fullerene. Okay. First of all, I want to discuss about this diamond. Let us take a diamond. In this diamond, each carbon atom, if you take one carbon atom, each carbon atom is bonded to four other carbons. Four other carbons. And it is forms a three-dimensional structure. Three-dimensional structure. For this carbon, it is also bonded with another four carbons. Like this. Okay. In this way, it forms a rigid three-dimensional structure. So, in this, each carbon, each carbon is bonded to four other carbons, four other carbon atoms to form a rigid three-dimensional structure. Okay. In this structure, the bonds are nothing but covalence bonds and these are present in throughout the lattice, throughout the lattice. So, we can also, in this structure, covalent bonds. Bonds. Covalent bonds are nothing but sharing of electrons. They are the bond is formed due to sharing of electrons. Covalent bonds are present throughout the lattice. Throughout the lattice. And so due to this strongly covalent bonds, it is very difficult to break. So that's why diamond is a hardest one. Diamond is the hardest one. Why? Because? Because of strongly covalent bonds. It is difficult to, difficult to break. So that's why diamond is the hardest one. Hardest one. Okay. 
and here the very very important bits are density of diamond the density density is 3.67 very very important one and one more important one very very important the refractive index the refractive index of diamond it is 2.44 very very important one refractive index of diamond is 2.44 and also it is the highly poisonous diamond is highly poisonous highly poisonous one okay and also here due to this strong bonds they have no free electrons so because of the absence of these free electrons it is a very bad conductor of electricity very bad conductor of electricity okay and coming to the important uses of this uh, diamonds we know that diamond is extensively used in case of ornaments in case of ornaments and in case of drilling machines drilling machines why because it is very very hard and it's so that's why it is used in drilling machines and also in case of cutting tools cutting tools and also sharpening sharpening tools okay these are the uses of this diamond here the very very important one is density and refractive index and here the bond is uh, the each carbon is bonded with four other carbon atoms in case of this graphite each carbon is bonded with three other carbon atoms okay. next one i want to discuss about graphite graphite i already told that in this uh, diamond each carbon bonded with another four carbons in case of this graphite each carbon atom is bonded with three other carbon atoms three other carbon atoms it is bonded each carbon atom bonded with three other carbon atoms like uh, if if you take this carbon atom it is bonded with three other carbon atoms like this and for this carbon it is also bonded with three other carbon atoms here it is one it is two and it is the three for this carbon and it is also bonded with other three carbons this is the one this is two and remaining is here this carbon for this carbon it is one it is two it is three and for this carbon it is one it is two it is three in this way it is forms like hexagonal structure hexagonal structure or hexagonal array okay in graphite each carbon atom each carbon atom is bonded to three other carbon atoms okay three other carbon atoms in the same plane giving hexagonal array okay here the remaining fourth electron of each carbon is free the fourth electron of each carbon is free so because of this free atoms or free electrons it is it is act as a good conductor of electricity good conductor of electricity okay here the fourth electron of each atom is free so it moves entire the crystal lattice and making this graphite as good conductor of electricity okay and coming to the properties of this uh, graphite it is very soft soft smooth and also it is slippery why because it is slippery it is the uh, this graphite is like uh, layer structure layer like structure so it is slippery and due to this uh, soft nature it is used to mark it is used to mark on the paper in the form of mark on the paper in the form of lead pencil lead pencil okay so graphite is mainly used to used for a lead pencil so that's why it is called as 
black lead black lead graphite is also called as black lead and here the very important one is on heating very high pressure very very high pressure and in the presence of suitable catalyst and in the presence of suitable catalyst it gets converted into diamond diamond that means if you take this graphite and if we you high pressure high pressure and also at very high temperature if we heat this with a suitable catalyst with a suitable catalyst it will be converted into diamond diamond but this diamond may not be converted as graphite it may not converted to graphite okay and coming to the important uses of this graphite it is a I already told that it is a good conductor of electricity. So it is making for electrodes. Very, very important one. Graphites are used for making electrodes. And the next one, it is also used as moderator. Very, very important one. It is also used as moderator in case of nuclear reactors. Nuclear reactors. And also it is used for the lead of lead acid lead, the lead of lead pencil the lead of lead pencils okay these are the important uses of graphite okay the next allotropy of carbon is c60 c60 that is also called as buckminster fullerene but minister fullerene some textbook it is uh, fullerene some textbook it is a fullerene okay we can say that this c60 is generally almost pure form of carbon it is almost pure form of carbon and it is made by heating the graphite if you take this graphite if we heat with electric arc, electric arc in the presence of inert gases, in the presence of inert gases such as helium, helium, argon, like that, inert gases, it will uh, convert it as a C60. Okay. And coming to the shape of this C60, it is uh, like a soccer ball. It is like soccer ball. Okay, it is like soccer ball. And coming to the important uses of this C60, it is used as microscopic ball bearing. Microscopic, that means very, very small ball bearings. Microscopic ball bearing. And also used for high weight batteries. High weight batteries okay these are the other tropes of carbon first one diamond second one graphite and third one c60 okay